Sustainability has been the key driver of modern architecture on the African continent and most African countries are now showcasing their design talents through their most admirable green buildings. Welcome to Tunacheki and in today's video we look at the top 10 most environmentally sustainable architecture in Africa. Before we get into the video, remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Number 10. Ecomo Homes, Franz Hock, South Africa These homes have been designed on sustainable design principles incorporating low-maintenance materials. They are built off-site in a factory in South Africa to minimize construction waste and then installed on site. They can be arranged in whatever layout the client desires. The square modular units can be easily joined together in a variety of arrangements to accommodate living, play or sleeping spaces. Number 9. Learning Resource Center, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya The project came into completion back in 2012 and it's an intricate building consisting of a modern conference hall, a bookshop, an extensive library and a cafeteria. It was designed by an architect named Musao Kimeu. The conference hall boasts of an intricate cooling system where air gets in through the vents located at the basement level, passes over well-arranged bedrock where it cools further and then is released into the auditorium through another set of vents. This is the only bedrock cooling system in Kenya. Number 8. Sandbag Houses, Freedom Park, Cape Town, South Africa The sandbag system, developed by a Cape Town company called EcoBeam, allows communities to build their own homes using extremely cheap materials. Sandbag houses in Freedom Park were built for only $6,000. The sand comes from dunes located a few hundred meters from the construction site, and the bulk of the manual labor was carried out by women from the Freedom Park community. EcoBeam's system replaces brick and mortar with sandbags. It is said to be a strong, safe, cheap way of delivering affordable housing. Number 7. Gando Primary School, Burkina Faso This project was designed in 1999. It was the first building from the architecture Francis Diabedo Kier, and it was completed while the architecture was still studying. To achieve sustainability, the project was based on the principles of design for climatic comfort with low-cost construction, making the most of local materials and the local community, and adapting technology from the industrial world in a simple way. It was also conceived as a standard model that could be copied within the community, and it would raise awareness of the merits of traditional materials. Number 6. El Mandara Eco Resort, Fayom, Egypt This resort was previously a series of rundown buildings and it has now been renovated by a group of young people who saw its potential. They advocated the use of local sustainable building materials including mud bricks and palm fronds to provide shading for the relentless desert sun. It sits astrid Lake Quran and pays deep respects to its natural surroundings. Number 5. Woodland Spa and Forum, Homini Hotel, Cradle of Humankind, South Africa This beautiful boutique hotel is located on the Letamo Estate in the Cradle of Humankind. It plucks inspiration from the World Heritage Site's rich evolutionary history. The project features a green roof in addition to concrete retaining and cavity walls, which ensure a high thermal mass. This keeps the building warm during winter and cool during the summer. It also reduces electricity needs by almost 75%. Number 4. Inno Native Home, Accra, Ghana Joe Ose Ado was determined to build a beautiful eco-friendly house for his family in Ghana. The house was built with material found primarily in rural areas, timber and adobe mud blocks. With no air conditioning, the house has sliding slated wood screens and floor-to-ceiling jealousy windows for cross-ventilation. The house is raised three feet off the ground to take advantage of the cooling underfloor breeze. Even though the house is connected to the national grid for electricity, solar panels have been installed for backup and for heating water. The house cost $50,000. Number 3. Leafy Mutual Tower, Namibia much of Namibia is a desert and water is not easy to come by, and what groundwater does exist is often saline and unfit for human consumption. As a result, the designers decided to pump this into the building and use it for plumbing and landscaping, thereby minimizing its reliance on the municipal water supply. Finally, speed control ventilation fans are programmed to detect the level of carbon dioxide emissions, such as in the basement, during peak hours. The oscillation speed increases to clear out harmful toxins, but slows down during less active periods. Number 2. Eastgate Center, Harare, Zimbabwe 
The East Gate Center gets its inspiration from gigantic termite molds where they constantly open and close a series of heating vents throughout the molds. Largely made of concrete, the building has a ventilation system which operates in a similar way. Outside air that is drawn in is either warmed or cooled by the building mass depending on which is hotter, the building's concrete or the air. It is then vented into the building's floors and offices before exiting the top via chimneys. The complex also consists of two buildings side by side that are separated by a space covered in glass and open to the local breezes. The East Gate Center uses less than 10% of the energy of a conventional building its size. And the number one spot for the most environmentally sustainable architecture in Africa goes to Number 1. Universidad Agostino Neto Angola the outskirts of Luanda play host to a unique contemporary institution of higher learning, the University of Agostino Neto. Innovative strategies were engaged to promote natural ventilation and passive cooling in all buildings except for the library, which is located underground. The existing landscape also played a huge part. The trees were arranged in a linear order to create a funnel through which prevailing winds blow from the southwest. In the opposite direction, the dry savanna draws air through the campus by convection. Heat gains were tackled by the building envelope, which is made of breeze soliles that reinforce the roof overhangs in a playful, spontaneous pattern. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.